Hi, Blessed Sacrament. My name is Emily Darty. I graduated in 2006. I hope you all are doing well. Uh, I miss everyone back home in Syracuse. I'm currently in New York City. Um, but the wonderful Mrs. O'Brien reached out to me. She's the best librarian out there and asked if I would read you guys a story. So I decided to pick one of my favorite childhood books. Um, anyone that knows me knows I love dogs. So we're going to read Clifford. Um, I also love this story because the little girl who owns Clifford, her name is Emily, just like me. Um, so here we go. Clifford's Good Deeds. Hello, I'm Emily Elizabeth. This is my dog, Clifford. A boy named Tim lives across the street. One day, Tim said, I try to do a good deed every day. If I had Clifford, I could help a lot of people. I said, let's do some good deeds together. A man was raking leaves. Tim gave him a hand. Then we helped him put the leaves in his truck. I didn't know that dry leaves make Clifford sneeze. The man said he didn't need any more help. We went down the street. We saw a lady painting her fence. We helped her paint. When we finished, she thanked us. Clifford felt so happy that he wagged his tail. That was a mistake. White paint splattered all over her house. We said we would paint the rest of her house too. The lady said, never mind. Then we saw an old lady trying to get her kitten down from a tree. Tim said, Clifford, get the kitty. Clifford bent the limb down so the lady could reach her kitten. But his paw slipped. Clifford moves pretty fast for a big dog. The lady was glad to get her kitten back. It didn't take us long to find our next good deed to do. Somebody had let the air out of the tires of a car. The man asked if we could help him. Tim took a rubber tube out of the car and stuck it on the tire valve. Then he told Clifford to blow air through the tube. Clifford blew, but he blew a little too hard. The man felt better when we took his car to a garage. We saw a small paper boy. He was so small that he couldn't throw the newspaper to the doorstep. Clifford gave him a hand, I mean paw. Clifford was a little too strong. Nothing seemed to go right for us. All our good deeds were turning out wrong. Then we saw a terrible thing. A man was hurt and lying in the street. Nobody was helping him. Tim said you should never move an injured person. Clifford didn't hear him. He picked up the man. We started off to find a doctor. Oh dear. We helped the men get their cable back down the manhole. Tim said, Clifford, maybe you shouldn't help me anymore. Clifford felt very sad. He had tried so hard to do the right things. We headed for home. Suddenly, we heard someone shouting, help, fire. The house on the corner was on fire. Tim ran to the alarm box to call the fire department. Clifford ran to the burning house. There were two little kids upstairs. With Clifford's help, we got them out safely. Luckily, there was a swimming pool in the yard. Clifford put, the fire, put out the fire just as the firemen were arriving. The firemen finished the job and thanked us for our help. That afternoon, the mayor gave us a medal for our good deeds. Of course, Clifford got the biggest medal of all. The end. So I hope you guys enjoyed Clifford, and I hope you all are staying safe back home um, and are doing some good reading. I know Mrs. O'Brien will be available to share more books to you all, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.